Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I am showered. I did my braids, got my little hoops in, and I'm wearing my USA top, which I love. Um, so let me explain what's going on today. I want to show you some recent products that I have been using and I have been loving. Not sponsored, just things that I've been loving, things that I've been enjoying. Luna is wild child this morning. It is currently, what time is it? 8.30 and you're running around like a crazy woman. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Lexi woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. She's a very cranky kitty. Alright, so I'm going to do my makeup with you guys. This is going to be my basics every day, my go-to makeup. Doesn't really change all that much, but... And then I also have some favorites I'm going to show you guys. Because I haven't done a video like that in forever. And I don't usually do like just favorites videos, so I'm gonna incorporate it in a vlog, things that I've been enjoying lately. What's up, babe? I see you looking like you wanna say something. What you wanna say? Mm -hmm. Luna's laying on the floor going after the red light on the bottom of the dishwasher. Aww, she's so cute. Mmm. Mm. Yummy coffee. All right, so first I use my Murad the, the sun is coming up. Look at the shadow on my face. Okay, anyways, I use my Murad Invisibler Perfecting, some kind of Invisibler Primer with benefits in it, plus it has sunscreen in it as well. Kind of expensive, not gonna lie. I found mine on eBay. Works perfectly fine. Actually, I should say my mom helped me find that on eBay. I'm gonna turn down this brightness just a bit. <clears throat> Just the sun is in such a strange spot. Anyways, all right, so that's what I start with, and then I usually let that sit on my skin, and then I'll go in and make my coffee, and now it is time to do concealer. So I'm not a liquid foundation person. In fact, I've really cut down on even my powder foundations. I'm using a loose powder, and it's just a lot lighter for me. I don't typically wear liquid foundation just because I don't like the tackiness. I don't, and I know all of them aren't tacky, but I just it's just not for me, so... I don't like to feel makeup on my skin as part of it. Plus, I have quite the oily combination. So if you guys have a oily combination skin like me where I'm oily in the T-zone and dry everywhere else, then this makeup should work for you as well. All right. I haven't done a makeup video for freaking 100 years. <laughs> All right. So this is the duo that I like to use. It's the Tarte Shape Tape or the Fit Me. I'll go in between... Some days I'll only use this, which has a bit more coverage, and some days I'll go with this, which is lighter. However, this is much lighter, and this is much more yellow toned. This is too light for me, this is too yellow. So currently I am using them both. So all I'm gonna do is just, oh gosh, I don't have a mirror. Pop on a bit here, pop on a bit there, pop on some there, and pop on some there. You may be thinking, wow, that's kind of a lot. But I use this for my entire face, so I'll actually drag it around. Well, it's not my entire face, it's just certain spots. I have a mirror off to the side, so if you guys see me looking way off, I'm looking at the mirror. So lately what I have been using, instead of the beauty sponge or the beauty blender, this is insane. I just randomly picked up this one day. I don't know if it was because I was lazy and I didn't want to soak my sponge, but I've had this forever. <laughs> Couple years, Larry Stone Cat toys at me. It's the Radiant Foundation Brush by It Cosmetics. Holy crap, just, just it gives such a nice, smooth finish, and I really like it. And then, like, oh, you know what I should have done first was my freaking um, eyeshadow. I've been doing that first lately just because when you do your eyeshadow first, and you see what I did here. It creates like a wing with your eyeshadow. You drag it out like that, but we forgot. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> and then what I do with like extra, wherever I have redness or anything, I'll just kind of like bring it down into those spots. Whatever's excess on the brush. Okay, concealer is complete. And then the next step is I go in with my Clinique. I used to use this, this is so funny. When I first started out wearing makeup, well not first in middle school, but when I, as, as an adult, I literally just used this and mascara and eyeliner. That is all I use. Now I don't use eyeliner. It tends to burn my eyes and it just irritates them so I don't use it. But this was my go-to. This is the Clinique 
O3 Transparency 3, allergy tested, 100% fragrance free, which is very important for me and my skin because I have extremely sensitive skin. Then I'll just go in and tap wherever I put concealer. Tap, 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 Larry. Tap, tap. And then I just kind of like dab it in places where I get shiny throughout the day or where I need a little bit more coverage where those red spots are on my chin. Larry, did you ever have pores? I have a shiny spot right up here. <laughs> oh, your forehead? Or the top of your head? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's all I've been doing with coverage for my skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Hoola by Benefit Bronzer. So I just dip my It Cosmetics Brilliant Powder Brush. I'm gonna dip it in, tap it off, and then I just kind of drag it down, starting here, down my cheekbone like that, or just below my cheekbone. And that just warms up the face a bit, makes it look like you have bigger cheekbones than you actually do. And then I drag it across my forehead, just to warm up the face. Don't put it on your jaw up here, do it under the jaw here, under your chin, under here, so that you can like create a shadow. Next I'm going in with my Tarte blush in the shade Party. This I got for my birthday at Sephora, I think like many, many years ago. Probably expired. And then we're just gonna dab in here. Very pigmented, very nice, and I just kind of pop it on. If I want more pigment with a blush instead of like swirling, I'll literally like tap like that. Okay, blush done. Um, my go-to palette for autumn, or really honestly, I'd have to say just in general. I'm sorry, it's dirty. It's quite old. I think I've had it for about two or three years. Maybe I got it last year. I'm not sure. But it is the Tarte. It is the Tartlet Toasted Palette by Tarte. It's your perfect bronzes, golds, browns, warm browns. Oh, it's just, just, just look at these shades. My favorite palette of all time. It's perfect. A dip into s'more, which is kind of like a skin toned color. And I'm gonna brush it all over the lid. Well, let's do latte and warmth together. So this shade here, which is like a light tan. And then this is definitely like a warmer taupe kind of shade. I'm gonna tap it off and I'm literally just gonna lightly take it in the crease and go back and forth, but mostly stay on the outside. Then I'm gonna just take my finger, I'm gonna go into the shade Simmer, which is a really pretty gold and I'm gonna just drag that over top of the eyelid. Then after I dust the shimmer on the eyelid, I'll go back into maybe a latte, and then I'll just do the crease one more time just to make sure I don't have a bunch of shimmer in the actual crease and it's more of a matte shade. And that just kind of blends everything together. Okay, so the next step is curling my eyelashes. It makes a big difference pulsating around. Be very gentle because they are your lashes. So let me come close. So here is the difference between one that is curled and eyelashes that are not curled. As you can see, or hopefully you can see, these are much more lifted, they're more visible, and these are kind of just mm, sad eyelashes. <laughs> we don't like side sad eyelashes. <laughs> Voluminous Butterfly, another one of my favorites. This is very long, wispy lashes. Usually I like a nice fluffy wand. I don't usually like the rubber spiky wands, but I'm not really going all out on the lashes today. So today I'm just doing really simple, really easy. Let's wipe off some of this product on here too so that we don't get any buildup clumpies. Oh, okay. One done. All right, now I'm gonna take that and we're also gonna run under the lower lashes. Now we need to do brows and that will finalize my go-to everyday oh, makeup. So the first thing I do is grab my Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I am in shade number three, which is, I think, I believe it's a medium brown. 
And then I use the spoolie end and I brush my eyebrows up and out. And I start kind of here. You don't want to start in the front and make that really chalky. At least I don't. So what I do is just take it here and then drag it out and create... <sighs> that scared me, Lexi. Why are you so sassy? Um, create the line here and then drag it down over here just to kind of shape it. And then also take it here. And then you just start filling it in. So here's the eyebrow that is not done, nothing done to it, which actually still looks okay in my opinion. And then here is the eyebrow that is filled in more. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. There we go. So that's my everyday go-to makeup. Not yet, we need to add some highlight. I forgot. Cookie highlight also by Benefit. You guys have heard me speak about this a million times. Every time I do my makeup. Dip it in and I'll literally just like pop it on the tip of the nose, brush it on the bridge of the nose, and then I'll take the extra and just kind of like go over and just, you know, that's it. All done. My nose is running. Now I'm going to show you guys or share a couple of my favorites with you. The first is going to be, I need to figure out which one I was using. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta let them settle. <laughs> I think I was using this one. All right. So these are the Clarins lip oils. I've heard about them for years, but never purchased them. And then I ended up catching them on sale on the Ulta or Sephora website. It was probably Ulta. It's a moisturizing lip oil. The lip oil is not sticky. It's super glossy and pretty. I have this one in mint, which I've been using for two months. Two months and not much of it is gone. I use it every morning and every night, especially before bed. Like I love just putting it on like a nice comforting like lip oil. So I have this mint one that I'm using currently and then I have my backup mint and I also purchased it in lip comfort oil. What is this one? Candy. So we have 06 mint and 04 candy. I have not used these two yet but I love them. And then the next lip products that I've been talking about that you guys have seen me talk about on Instagram for about the last month is these beauties. We have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. I got mine in the shades 01 Pearl, which is a really pretty gloss. I have not used it yet, but it looks beautiful. It'll be a pretty like topper coat or just like a plain gloss kind of day. And then this one is the shade petal which i have used and the shade if you guys can see that it does come out that way so they're nice pigmented glosses they're very cushy on the lips and again not very sticky next is my favorite deodorant native you guys know that i've been loving this deodorant i'm willing to pay the price for this i think it's like 11 dollars or something like that which is kind of pricey for a deodorant this is the only natural deodorant that works for me i have gone through so many natural deodorants that just they just don't work or the texture is hard and it like scratches my under armpits i have mine in the scent coconut vanilla i also have cotton and i think it's just cotton and then i also have it in cucumber mint which i have not tried yet and i'm excited to try but this is my go-to it is paraben free and aluminum free this is great a lot of you guys have reached out to me asking if it does work i love it and i actually got my mom hooked on it i gave her the blackberry scent she's obsessed she's been using the deodorant now for about a week if my mom loves it too it's a winner next we have let's do some clinique skincare i have been a huge fan of clinique skincare since i was in high school it's what i first started using when i started getting acne and everything else like that and just just basic skincare so this is the clinique moisture surge i like this at night oh my goodness it's glorious when i wake up in the morning my skin just looks nicer it's it's hard to explain um especially with me who has acne prone skin splotching scarring i'll put like a tiny little dollop in this and mix it with my regular clinique moisturizer which i use every night the clinique it's the clear moisturizer 
the gel. I forget the exact name of it, but I'll add this to it and it's, it's glorious. And then I'll even do my neck. So moisturizing is key. Even if you have oily skin, moisturize your skin. And then this is the Clinique All About the Eyes, which is good for, it reduces circles and puffs. So I've been using it for about three weeks. I do think it does reduce the circles. This is how much I have left. A little goes a long way. Next, I have gone back to this. I stopped using it for a while and that's because my skin had just cleared up but that was because I was on medication that was controlling like internal medication and topical medication that was controlling everything that I am no longer allowed to use with going down the pregnancy journey. Um, they're just not safe for future babies. So we've had to stop those and I have gone back to this and this is the Murad Anti-Aging Acne Time Release Acne Cleanser. If you were in your late 20s, mid 20s, if you were in your 30s or 40s or 50s and still are getting acne, get this product. Do not mistake it with the regular acne cleanser. I have the acne cleanser one that I mistaked it with. They look exactly the same. Do not mistake it because it is not the same. This one has 0.5 salicylic acid, whereas the other one has 1.5 salicylic acid. The 1.5 I cannot use. It irritates the crap out of my skin. That one is geared more towards, you know, your 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds that are experience puberty acne. Um, for us that are doing the hormon hormonal acne or the adult acne, this would be perfect for you. Again, I found, I found mine on eBay for like 20 bucks. It just came in the mail like a week or so ago. So I got it for a lower price. So check there if you want to check there and it has a nice cooling sensation but not cooling to where it's going to irritate your skin. So and I'm sure you've guys you guys have seen a lot of people speak about these brushes and I have tried many many brushes. I have a Clinique one. I have so many. But I think and I finally I finally did it. I finally got one. <laughs> I used another YouTuber. Her name's Sarah Sarah's Day and I love watching her channel and she uses this and she also had hormonal acne and she swears by it. So I was like, "All right, fine. I will use the code. I will give it a try and I love it." Now it comes in a travel case and it has three different brushes. This is the silicone side of the brush. I use this. I think I got it a couple weeks ago, a month ago. I think it's been a month. I use this religiously, day and night. It's the Vanity Planet brush. Everybody has talked about it, um, and I'm obsessed. Like, I just, in the morning and in the night, I'll literally put on my cleanser. You can put it directly on the brush, but lately I've been finding if I put the cleanser on my skin first, then wet the brush, and then go in, it's almost like your own spot at home. I'll literally sit there and just do this for like five minutes. You don't have to push hard, just let the brush do the magic. So. It has a lowing, lower spin level and then a fast spin level and it just spat water out because I just used it in the shower this morning but this is 100% I mean she's a good one this little guy <laughs> and this is the Hogwarts by Hallmark and it's a calendar welcome to welcome to a new year of Hogwarts it is September 4th I've changed the date and it comes with these little blocks there's a few of them and they just have the different months on them and the blocks have the different dates so you just go through the calendar year and it's weighted so it's great to pop on a desk i've had mine on the fireplace next to this plant behind me and it works perfectly there because <gasps> it's gold so it works out really nice so now you get to see how this works you know you pop them in you look at the numbers and you pop them back in and now the last favorite is midnight sun this book just brings me back to like high school days and I don't know. I just really like reading Edward's version of the story. I am not that far in at all, as you guys can see. I've been a little bit busy, and I will be 100% honest. I just struggle with reading. Like, <laughs> some people, it'll take them a day to read a book. It takes me, like, two months to read a book. It can take me a year to read a book. I am one of those that my mind wanders. So I'll start reading, and then I'm, like, thinking. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just read? I don't know. And then I'll have to go back. So... If you struggle with reading like me, this is a really easy read. This, this little guy, the little light. We got those from Target. They have been a great help in the bedroom. Instead of like having a bright light on, we could put dim lights on, cozy the mood, and then you pop on your little, your little reading light and it lights up the page. And it's great. And I'm also one of those that stops right in the middle of a chapter when my eyes start to close and I'm falling asleep. 
Now what I need to do is finish my coffee. I need to draw my little circle and put off on it and then post it so that you guys know that I will be offline on Saturday or already like a week ago by now by the time you guys see this video. But um, yeah, if you guys aren't following over on Instagram, definitely if you would like to, if you have Instagram, head over and do so because that's where things happen like daily. And then if you guys aren't following Larry's Instagram, you should follow Larry's, which is just Larry Links, one word, because he's posting beautiful pictures that he has taken on our trips that we have gone on. And just like everyday life, beautiful artistic nature photos. So as always, I'll have them written across the screen. I will also have them linked down below. And um, yeah, so let's get editing. I wanna finish my coffee. We're gonna go to the office and we're gonna start editing. But first I need to put all of this stuff away. So I just went into the bedroom to draw my off to show that I will be offline and participating. And I'm gonna have Larry help me take this picture. So we'll be back. So we're all done taking pictures. So we have this one, which looks funny because my socks and my pants, but that's all right. Then we have this one, that one, these ones. So yeah, we have a couple to choose from and then I'll go in and I'll just edit them. And what I use for my editing is a color story. It's my favorite. And you go to the filters and I love using Steffi. It's called Harvest Moon, created by Steffi. And then I'll pick these filters and it just kind of warms up the photo so much. And you just pick all these different filters and I really like it, so. Welcome to the office. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm editing now. It looks so funny. Um, okay, can we just can we just take a minute? <laughs> okay, so basically I use iMovie to edit everything. It's so simple. I have a MacBook Air. These are questions that I get asked all the time, like what I use to edit, what is simple. This is what works best for me. I have this laptop. Load my clips from my SD card. You just pop your SD card in this little guy. And then... They pop up on here, I save them onto the desktop, and then I just load them into iMovie, which is not a separate editing program, it's already directly on the computer. Then I just pop them in and then I continue editing. So this is the sit down interview styled video that I filmed with Larry. It was a really good video and I hope you guys like it. But yeah, so now I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna edit, but what I want to do first is, Got my trusty little doohickey here. What is this thing called? A speaker, a Bluetooth speaker. And I turn that on. And then depending on the Bluetooth mood. Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. There we go. Let's do Game of Thrones Daenerys. Daenerys music. Her music makes me like. <laughs> House Targaryen extended version. Do you just feel it through your soul? Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like Another Game of Thrones rewatch is coming near. Hello, it is now currently 4.45 p.m. And this battery is dying. Why are all my batteries dying? They're not keeping up with me, that's why. Um, so, Larry just ran out. He's back already. We, um, he had to get a part for our toilet. Our toilet, like, flushy broke. And so we replaced that. 
I just fed the girls. Lexi and Luna just got their dinner. They're having tuna tonight. They love it. And I have got the oven on because I'm gonna be making baked potatoes. I am literally starving. I did not eat a proper lunch, and by the time I realized I was starving after editing, it was already four o'clock, and I was like, ooh, I don't really wanna eat lunch at 4 p.m., so I had a chocolate-covered strawberry that I made homemade. They are delicious. They're like professional. The chocolate is nice and hard and crispy, and it, it oh my gosh, so good. Crispy chocolate, is that what I mean? Like it has a nice chocolate shell. Oh, Luna wants out, let's let Luna out. Do you want out, baby? Go on. All right. Our weather in Florida, by the way, has been so warm that I think maybe, oh, pumpkin, maybe we might go swimming this evening. The heat, the heat, the heat, the heat, the heat, the heat, the heat index today, they said was 110. Oh, that's hideous, isn't it? Plus the humidity, it's just, it's just awful. If it was 110 with dry heat, I don't, I don't think it would be. I was just out, it wasn't bad. You love the heat though, <laughs> for people who do not love the heat. It's crazy. It's so funny because back in Ohio and places there in the 70s and dropping into the 60s at night, like when we were in Pittsburgh, and I just, I loved it so much. I am not a Florida girl. I'm not a Florida soul. My soul is not complete unless I'm in the north. <laughs> but that's okay. I've got lovely people here, so that's what keeps me here. The weatherman said that there's going to be an opening in the jet stream. Come into frame. The beautiful people want to see you. Hello. There's an opening in the jet stream for hopefully a cold front. Cold front, and it's going to come all the way down into the... Don't tell me 88. No, it's coming down into the south, but by the time it starts heading back <laughs> to the east, it will completely miss Florida. <laughs> but he said, we're going to be dropping down into the 70s at night now. And I looked at the temperature for the low, and it was 79. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate when they do that. It's gonna drop down to the 70s. I'm thinking, oh good, 70, 71. And then I'm thinking, but wait a minute, what's the humidity? Because if it's 70s and it's 80% humid, 90% humid, it doesn't feel like 70. It feels warmer than that. Which also is why our cold weather, very strange, when it gets cold in Florida and it's like 30 or 40 degrees. Ooh, that is cold. Man, it's cold in here when it gets to 55 degrees. Yeah, that can feel really cold. I'm so hungry, I feel sick. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Do you guys ever get that? Where you get so hungry you feel nauseous? Do you get that way? Yeah. Yeah, I skipped lunch. That was a bad idea. All I've had today was breakfast. So I had, um, what did we eat for breakfast? Oh, I had life cereal and strawberries. I had a good breakfast. What did you have? I had a Maybe. sausage, mm -hmm. egg, and cheese muffin sandwich, and strawberry yogurt. Yeah. And then I just had my chocolate covered strawberry and then a handful of um, almonds. Yeah. I had a hot dog for lunch. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm definitely hungry. Hi. Chrome belly. Hmm. Hmm. Did I show them? Did I show you guys? Oh, I showed you guys my new coffee that I'm excited to use. New Java. Yeah, I mentioned this in the last vlog that I had got this. I haven't tried it yet, but I was telling my mom how excited I was about getting it. The Italian roast, because usually I stay clear of dark roast just because it's too like bold for me. But the dark chocolate and toasted marshmallow. Hi. Yeah, you are. Bend the knee. I did it. Larry bent his knee for me. <laughs> yeah, but four years ago. <laughs> um, we won't tell what he just did. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <gasps> you are such a liar. <laughs> Don't lie. Uh-oh. Um, but anyway, so the Italian roast tasting notes are dark chocolate and toasted marshmallow, which made me really excited to try this. But my mom thinks that she didn't really like the Italian roast. She said it was too bitter for her. Now, I don't like bitter coffee, so I'm hoping that this isn't gonna be bitter. We'll see, I'll try it soon. 
potatoes are ready. This is the second vlog, home vlog in a row that I've made baked potatoes. I'm just on one of those rolls where, I'm gonna put you guys over here, where I'm just loving everything baked potato, cozy potato related. Our summer storms are kind of gone, aren't they? We haven't had one. Yeah, I said there are going to be the usual pop-up showers, thunderstorms, but probably we won't be seeing them. They'll be further north. What are you doing? Are you getting wound up? I'll call it. All right. Change of plans. Larry and I actually did not get in the pool. The potatoes ended up getting done before we could get in the pool. So I've just washed my face, got ready for the evening, and my phone has disappeared. Hang on. I wonder if I, I don't think it's outside either. I don't understand. I mean, it's just preparing me for tomorrow. No phone day. <laughs> but, um, so the baked potatoes have finished. They're here. I just popped garlic toast in the oven, which I know, not very good for you. It's double carb, but you know, it tastes good. And then I'm also making a salad and then we have the leftover chili and tonight is the final night for leftover chili. And Larry and I need to finish a film that we started last night. It's called Vice, um, which is very interesting. Very, it's, it's a political film. It's about Dick Cheney. Also, yeah, it is the same day. I've just changed out of my white USA shirt because chili or anything, any food is never good when I wear white. It gets on it, it ruins it, not good. So I've changed. Okay, so for dinner I have my salad, which is a mix of iceberg and romaine lettuce, a bit of cheddar, cheddar cheese, <laughs> cheddar cheese, capers, red onion, pickles, and a pepperoncini. And then here is my leftover chili. I only really got a little bit of that. And then I also have the toast and two baked potatoes. They look way larger than they actually are. Probably not gonna eat everything, but if I do eat everything, then it is what it is. And then Larry has the same thing, different chili, and he's working on his potato. And then we just have X-Men on the TV at the moment. Nuna, what's the matter? Is there a thunderstorm coming? What's that noise? I think it's the wind, it's very windy. All right, so I have my mom on FaceTime, so if you hear stuff in the background, that's my mom. Say hi, mom. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> All right, so here's the chocolate covered strawberries that are delicious. They formed like the perfect shell of chocolate. This is dark chocolate, it's really good. And then here is the pretzel bark that I made with cracked Himalayan pink salt. Looks so delicious.